Well, it's been downgraded from a Category 4 to a Category 2 storm, but that really don't need to, to change the severity and the impacts. It's areas of the Carolinas, Virginia and Georgia where they've declared the state of emergency. It is now a Category 2, but the wind field has actually expanded and it's actually going to be as severe as a more powerful storm. We are going to see winds of 130 miles an hour, 60 inches of rain falling there. Put that into perspective, London sees about 22 in the whole year. Size-wise, it's over 450 miles wide, similar to the whole state of North Carolina, comparable to the whole size of the UK. But the reason it's going to be so bad is because of where it sits and where it's moving. They normally track up the coast, but this is out to sea and it's directly going to make landfall. Now, it's the front right quadrant that is particularly bad because you've got the spiralling winds moving in and the force of the winds moving into coast. Now, the biggest cause of concern will be the catastrophic storm surge. And this potentially is going to be one of the most dangerous this area has ever seen. So we're going to take a look on amazing graphics and recreation of what it could look like in this area. Now we have a huge wall of water ahead of this storm making its way into the coast. Now the storm surge from this hurricane for some areas of the Carolinas could be as high as one to three feet. Now that's enough to, to knock you off your feet and potentially to just move some small cars to float through the area. But it is expected for many areas to be up to six feet high. Now this would cause significant damage. It could easily pick up a, a, a truck and float it away. But many experts actually say it could be as high as nine feet high or maybe even 13 feet high. Now this coastal inundation is particularly going to be bad because the storm surge for nearly all of the storms around the world is responsible for half of the deaths. Now Many people are saying that this storm is going to be comparable to the likes of Harvey and Katrina. It is going to cause widespread devastation, but one thing is for sure, the coast of Carolina will never look the same again.